We are here in sunny St. George in southern Utah. We want to share with you a home that was featured in the 2024 Prairie to Homes, built by American Heritage Homes and designed by House West. Our goal with this home was really to create a cozy space. We're very inspired by Nancy Myers and her movie sets and just how collected the spaces feel. And we really try to accomplish that with this home. So come on and take a look. Starting off in the entryway of this home, we worked specifically with the architect to create more of a vestibule feeling. We wanted it to feel like its own space, so we used wallpaper on all of the walls and the ceiling to give it a little bit of a cozy feel. This custom door was drawn and designed by us, and we just felt like the small grids give it an absolute different vibe than you would normally see. We did a tile floor in here as opposed to wood and trimmed it with a beautiful brass detail. We wanted to know that this is a different room. And then you walk into the home and you're welcomed by this beautiful three inch wood plank. As we walk into this two story light filtered great room, we wanted to share with you a feature that we did. These arch details are a very cost effective way to make a very large impact on your home. We decided to fill it with this custom book stand, which we worked with a local woodworker to create. And it's just a beautiful way to display your favorite book or literature. Over here, we have this really large fireplace. Open face is definitely the best way to go. I just think it's a little bit more authentic. And then of course we did this very beautiful custom plaster work on it. And then you'll see we repeated this arch detail again, which is really beautiful. In a two-story living room like this, you can get a little bit of an echo. So we really love to work with custom drapery. This is a very soft linen that just filters that light in perfectly. The back of this home faces south, so it's really important to diffuse that light. You don't want anything to be jarring in your home. Over here, you can see we have a lot of furniture pieces. Just because you have a small space doesn't really mean you have to have small furniture. For instance, this wood coffee table is four feet by four feet, and everyone should be able to access this coffee table no matter where they're sitting. In this kitchen space, we actually took that same curve from the fireplace and repeated it on the edge of the island, in the hood detail, and you can see we used two different surfaces on the backsplash. We wanted to create a little bit of a spice ledge here. It's just a really beautiful way to make your kitchen a little bit more functional, but also beautiful. And we have this warmer tone tile on the top to break up all the creams. In the ceiling, we have beautiful drywalled beams. And of course, this again is a very cost effective way to make a really big statement in your space. I personally love the dental crown detail. I have that in my own home and I just think it's so charming. And oversized light fixtures. We often find people go a little bit too small with their pendants and the beams just lead you right into, again, a light filled breakfast nook space where we repeated these same linen drapes and it just ties the rooms together so that they feel like they belong together. So come in here. In the scullery that is attached to the kitchen, we actually repeated the same crown molding detail. And I personally love these little touches of areas where you can display dishes and things that you would use. We decided to do a little bit of a vertical wood paneling here, but this just makes this utilitarian space a little bit more beautiful. This library is one of my favorite spaces of the home. We did a very dark paint color to make it feel cozy again with these beautiful arch details and the dental crown. We also brought back a ceiling medallion in this home. We just think it gives it a little bit of that eclectic feel. And again, this is just MDF bookshelves. This is a very cost effective way to make your home feel very, very custom. As you can see, this couch fits perfectly in this nook and we've topped it off with those beautiful sconces and it just gives purpose to a space that would otherwise not feel purposeful. 
I love this little corner of the library. I just feel like every single space can be purposeful. It's a very eclectic way to show off some of your books and just have like a little nook for your kids to come and pick up a book and read. We're gonna go into the guest suite. Here in the guest suite, we were able to create a full kitchen for the guests. This is Bosch's apartment size appliance package, which we love because it has all the function of a regular kitchen. We also brought in this beautiful chocolate counter slab that we have on the island in the main house and repeated the spice ledge to just carry that through to this space as well so they feel connected. Over here, we have a beautiful dining nook and this is coffee area, somewhere for your guests to have breakfast. We have the drapes in the background, which again, filters that light in beautifully, but also acts as a little bit of privacy from the front of the home. And then we have this beautiful art piece that we hung. I just felt like this was a really beautiful way to make the area have a collected feel. In the primary suite of this home, we intentionally chose a warmer wall color. We added this panel mold to the walls. Again, a very cost-effective way to trim out your home and make it feel a little bit more formal. This bedroom has more saturated color tones, which I personally really love. I think it makes the space just feel lived in, warm, and somewhere where you can instantly feel at home. The beams from this bedroom carry in right to the primary bath. And that is a really beautiful detail that makes it feel all like one space. Here in the primary bath, as you can see, the beams carry in, which makes the space feel really connected to the bedroom. This chocolate color is brought over from the kitchen island again. I think we're gonna see a lot of these warm chocolate tones really come back this year. In the tub area, we decided to hang the art in front of the window, which we just thought was a fun play off that casita. And then in the shower, we have beautiful hand textured tile. It just really makes the home feel collected and like that tile is old and has been here for a long time. Polished nickel fixtures are one of my favorite finishes to pick for any home. They really don't go out of style. That finish is gonna be around for hundreds of years. Upstairs in this home, we have a wonderful family room where you can come and hang out with your kids. This is really the kids' chill spot of the home. And we furnished it in a way that was very casual. We have a really cool curved sofa here. The colors, again, are very warm. And we have that same panel trim detail to make it feel very cozy and authentic to the rest of the home. But this is just an awesome place where you can sit and hang out, whether your kids are teenagers or young. And then up here, we also have three bedrooms and three bathrooms and a really cool hidden kids room above the entryway. In the backyard of this home, we took what would have been a very unusable space and turned it into this oasis. So we have a full lap pool, a raised jacuzzi that spills into the pool. We have multiple seating areas for you to enjoy your yard with your family, an outdoor kitchen, and even a putting green. We hope you love this home tour. If you fell in love with any of the pieces, you can shop these rooms collections in the description below. And if you want to tour our 12,000 square foot parade home from 2024, here is the link and you can't miss it. It has an amazing lazy river and really a resort style backyard.